my heat finally what's up everybody welcome back to a new video as you can see i found i got a human made box it's been a minute since i opened one of these human made boxes so what's in here is my human made work jacket so i'm gonna be unboxing this showing y'all what i got also i'm gonna be talking about human made and little uzi vert collaboration that it just dropped we're gonna get into all that stuff so man let's get right to the unboxing let's get it Finally, finally, finally got the jacket that I've been looking for. This is the jacket I've been waiting for for the longest for Nego to drop for Human Made. And uh, he finally dropped it. Thank you, Nego. And the reason why I knew it was coming out in his Instagram story, he'd been posting videos like in his showroom for Human Made. And in the background, you see the pieces hanging up in the back in his showroom for season 2021, the fall winter season. So I seen this in the background, like I could barely make it out what it was. So I was trying to figure out what it was and I had seen the backside of it, which is this bulldog. So I was zooming in and I'm like, yo, this look like the bulldog they finna bring back. And I had spoken this in my previous human made videos. And lo and behold, this was a damn jacket. And I was excited that I was able to cop and get it. And I'm not disappointed. And I'm glad that I spent the money that I spent. I feel like what I paid was well worth it. I had a price on the screen somewhere, but this jacket is really dope. Glad that they dropped this for the fall, winter um, season. Reason being, I'm gonna be wearing this jacket a lot. And that's the reason why I had bought it. I got this in... <laughs> I get what size did I get this in? So I got this in a size, it was extra large, as you can see right there. So I decided to go with the extra large as a size up a little bit. I, I think the outerwear actually fit true to size, if I'm not mistaken, because my, I got a 2XL in a jean jacket, and it's kind of a baggy fit. And so I feel like these outerwear pieces are actually true to size. So I would say go through the size with the outerwear from the hoodies, denim jacket. So I got an XL in this because I'm going to be layering it with a hoodie up under. And uh, let's get right into the details, man. Let's get into it. So first, I'm just going to show off the basic of this uh, work jacket from Human Made. So on the front side, we have gears for futuristic teenagers on the front. I love the embroidery that Nego goes with, like vintage print well, stitching on it. And I really like the way that looks. And if anybody know what kind of stitching, like the stitching method or what's the name, this, like the name of the stitching called, uh, let me know in the comment section below because I really like the way Nego does the stitching with this because it just gives you that quality and old time like look to it. So just a little bit of nostalgia with that. That's what I get from it. So uh, also some more details with this. So all the buttons like to uh, button up your jacket comes with a human made button it says human made on it on each button like to button it up so with that being said uh also it had the same type of stitching on the front side of this work jacket like on the denim jacket that i have upstairs it had like this overlapping like stitching effect going on like right here and i really like that reason being already this had like this like a regular like canvas color and this orange help as well like accent this uh, whole work jacket. I'm glad they came out with these colors, especially for the fall time, because these are like the perfect fall colors to wear for the fall. So that's it for the front side. And on the back side, like at the back bottom of the jacket, we have we have these blue buttons as well. And just says human made in it. So this is like one of the colors that would stand out in this piece the most, but it's at the bottom of the damn jacket. So you may see it and you may not. If you're paying attention, you'll, you'll see it. So on the back side of this work jacket as well, of course we have, it says human made twice, uh, inside the bulldog and above and below the bulldog. And we have some more get your futuristic teenagers print on the back. I feel like this is kind of repetitive and redundant to keep it's a little bit over branding to be honest. For me personally, I would rather have them take away human made, like either from inside the doll, just take it out and just take it. You don't have to keep putting human made, human made and get your futuristic teenagers on the back. And you got on the front. So I just felt like it, it was a little bit too repetitive, like too much branding. I get it, cool. Like at least could have put, instead of putting gears for futuristic teenagers on the front right here, they could have put like dry alls or the other slogans that they use with uh, Inhuman Made that I thought would've been dope. They could have brought back like some old slogans that they use like uh, the futures in the past, the bridge between human and inhuman, something like that. And uh, propaganda hearts, I believe. They can use some, I wanna see them use more of their, their slogans and you know, their sayings for their brand. So I would just like to see them do more of that, like use more of the other slogans that they have with the brand. But overall, man, I'm not mad at this at all because this burnt orange, like right here with that human made, I just love that color when it, the way it just complements this um this jacket. And also like the material on here is not 
thick, it's not thin, it's just like right in the middle, it's got like a canvas material. So it's not like a true, true denim jacket, I would say. Also to check out, um, something to check out for as well. I just gonna have to show y'all now, just look, check out the tag. Let's see, there we go. Just, so just check out the tag, cause you know, people trying to rip you off and trying to get your money and sell you some fakes. So just look for this tag and I guess you can just pause this video and you know, just use it as a point of reference to go to to make sure it's all real. I love the style of stitching that Nigo been using for this, especially for the Bulldog as well. Like he just, they just gutted the Bulldog out with that um, stitching. Give it a little bit of texture inside of that Bulldog as well. So it just ain't just like a blank or just plain old stitching. So that's why I like when Nigo use this type of stitching embroidery with these damn jackets. Cause I think that actually helps um, show the true value of the brand and how serious Nigo taking the um, human made as a brand. That's one thing I really do appreciate about human made that uh, like some brands really aren't doing. But yeah, I really like this jacket. This is gonna be a keeper. Then I got this, I got this the day it dropped. Um, I, I've been, people think I've just been like spending money, just spending, spending, spending money on human made. Like, yeah, I've been spending my money, but the stuff that I buy, I resell, make a profit, flip, and just save that money up to buy stuff that I'm actually gonna keep. So that's how I do my process with Human Made when I cop stuff. And uh, yeah, that's it for that jacket. All right, so we're gonna get to the Human Made Lil Uzi Vert collab. This one mainly for Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, pink album he coming out with. I think it's called Pink Album, if I'm not mistaken, because most of the pieces in here are pink. So it makes sense. But anyway, we're gonna get right into the items that drop. And we're gonna talk about the item that drop anyway. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna start off with the cup. So the cup, this was dope. I actually like this little cup, just like that pale, like glass pink with like the human, I'm sorry, Moon in the background playing with his toys. All of a sudden he went play with his toys and I started recording. But anyway, this is the human made Uzi collab. I really like this bat that they did. They brought this bat back from like an older human made design. And they brought it back, redesigned it, gave it like some like updated uh, graphic for it. So I thought it looked dope as hell. Just a simple cup. It just got the broken hearts around it. And it says bridges between human and inhuman. I think I said it wrong earlier when I had spoke of it. But anyway, uh, yeah, I thought this cup was dope. Uh, one of my homies hit me up and told me he had hit on this. And on the back side, we got the heart of human, or the human made heart on the back side. I really like this cup, but it's cool. I didn't get it. I'm not tripping. So they go to the next. So the pillow was really the only thing I was going for because they're going to be like a personal for me. And on the front, on I guess you can say the front. We'll just say the front side since so it's the first part of what the only part we're looking at right now. So the front side of this pillow says a little Uzi with the back, with the um, little diamond that Uzi had on his forehead, the pink diamond. I thought it was like a nice little touch, like the uh, represent Uzi brand that he has going with him right now. And on the back side, it says human made. That's the only side I really care for, to be honest, uh, which is like the human made brand and I could care less with the Uzi branding on it. So if I would have had it on the sofa, you'd just see the human made part of it more than the little Uzi. And there's just another view from it. Like I really do like this pillow, I'm kind of pissed that it sold out, but I would not be buying this on a resale. I ain't get it, oh well. Cause the way I look at it, if I can't buy something right then, I'm not, it's, it's not meant for me to have. So I wasn't tripping on the drop at all. So the next item would be one of the teas. And I really do like this color tea, had like that um, salmon, salmon or salmon, however you want to see it. And it just says human made, of course, with, with little Uzi Vert name inside the bat and the, other lo and the other things that go along with it. Again, bridge between human and inhuman. I really like that slogan, it's really dope. And on the back of the human made logo at the top, and it's a closer view of it. And I, again, I like that little touch with the diamond in the middle of the forehead of the bat. It's sick. I really, love, I really, really like that 1930s and 40s like cartoon style. It's really dope. I really like that style. All right, so of course we got the same tee, but in the white tee. Yeah, if I were to choose to get between the pink or the white tee, it probably would be the white tee. It's a little bit easier to wear. Same thing, just a little bit bolder, easier to see on the contrast. And yeah, I would rather wear the white version over the over the pink tee. But again, this isn't something I would wear. Next, same thing, long sleeve tee, pink, eh, hold on, is it? Yep, all right, cool. All right, so next we're gonna go to the white long sleeve. Again, I would prefer the white long sleeve over the pink long sleeve. I ain't really do much to say about this. Same old, same old. And then we got the hoodie. I will rock the hoodie. I would rock this hoodie. You know what, I wish, what I would like for Human Made to do, which is strip away, just take away the little Uzi name, 
take away, yeah, just take away Lil Uzi name and remove the human made above the bat and put it inside the bat and just blow that shit up on a hoodie. That will sell. Listen, hey, Nigo, if you hear me, do that. Take away Uzi name, put human made inside, make the bat bigger on the front of the hoodie. Money, bro. Money. All right. And put it on a Heather Gray hoodie, too. Oof. Oh, my God. That'd be... Hey, if y'all... Yeah, I ain't... never mind. That's what I would prefer. So, same thing that it comes to the hoodie. Same thing. It was on the white... On the, um, on the tee. But that was all that had dropped collab-wise this, um, this past week. Everybody took L's that I know of, but one person got, I think, just a cup. But yeah, this all that dropped from Human Made. So, if y'all caught, congratulations. If you did it with a bot, fuck you, whatever. But it's cool. Congratulations. And, uh... Yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Casual Mac out. Peace.